Your Home and Cross Stitch by Barbara Thompson and Anna Green is one of the books that I ordered off of Amazon when I was buying up all the patterns I could find for cross stitching dollhouses. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and let's talk about this one because it may or may not be helpful to you depending on what your goals are. So the premise of this book is that it will teach you how to reproduce your home in counter cross stitch. And it really, in some ways, it will give you the basics of cross stitching. It will give you some ideas for how to draw a chart. I like that it has photographs next to stitched interpretations, although there aren't a whole lot of those. There are charts, but I think they're meant to show you how the charts work more than they expect you to stitch from them. I've got really mixed feelings about this book. It has a great section about building different textures or floor tiles and how to do your house exteriors, but I think you have to have a very certain style of house in order to make this work. In particular, I think you have to almost have a Victorian house because that is really what they have focused on here. The section on bathrooms has a pole chain toilet, which I don't know about you, but I mean, if I was going to cross stitch a bathroom, I would do a pole chain toilet. If I was, I don't think I would ever cross stitch my own bathroom. It just the thought has never occurred to me. So like none of these example rooms, honestly, they really, very few of them look like the rooms in any houses that I have been in, unless we want to count the Victorian museums. I don't know if that's because the book is from 1993 and it has a very 1993 aesthetic to it. it it's an interesting book. It's got, I mean, the drapes are helpful. A portion of it is helpful, and then a portion of it is less helpful, at least for what I am looking for. I like the idea of the map. I don't think I'm going to try to cross-stitch my own house. If I was going to try to do an interpretation of one of the rooms in my house, honestly, I think I'd do embroidery so that I didn't have to worry about all the little X's and the extra challenges that those would present. I bought this one sight unseen based on the title alone. I did not pay much for it. The copies they have on Amazon right now are significantly more than what I paid, including one that is a lot. But if you've been considering this one, I hope this helps you make a decision. It's not one of my favorite cross stitch books, but I'm going to add it to my shelf with the books on dollhouses and other stuff and who knows maybe one of these days I will want to stitch a bathroom with a clawfoot tub and pull chain toilet and then this will be exactly what I need. If you know any great resources for stitching your house let me know. I'm Michelle this is my romantic tangle thank you so much for watching I have got a whole playlist of what has made it onto my sewing room bookshelf if you're interested in that and I'll be back with more cross stitching videos soon.